I'm Randy Clyde, the principal of Rodriguez Prep Academy. I've been principal for the last two years, uh, and I've previously I've served at Rodriguez as the vice principal for a year and a half. When revisiting um, the way we do feedback and walkthroughs, um, we needed to develop a new walkthrough form, especially if we had new intentions behind what we were doing. Um, so I knew I really wanted to have a, a more reflective process, um, and I ended up finding that too rigid of a structure was not allowing me to, to do that. So, um, you know, I had heard, I can't remember who said it, but they said, you know, the best walkthrough form is a blank sheet of paper. Um, and so I kind of worked off of that. And so my walkthrough form ended up being um, a section that pretty much was just open. It's just observation, just taking notes of what you see. And the feedback section is also blank. It's just, you, the only thing you put in there are reflective questions. Um, I just, it took some time to standardize what those questions would be. Um, and so when just, you know, the previous year having conversations with teachers, it was just um, things were felt a little too rigid or um, too much fluff, you know, and it wasn't intentional enough. So um, when I revamped this model or this, this, uh, this form, I did have my teachers look at it. So I had my, um, I have an instruction committee which includes my PDT members, and I had them look at the document and provide me some feedback on their thoughts and kind of my thoughts of what was my intention uh, behind this form. And they liked it. They liked the idea of it not being a compliance piece where it's just checking the boxes off. Uh, to them, it felt safe. Um, you know, just this, you just take notes of what you see and ask reflect reflective questions. So they felt safe about the process. At the beginning of the school year, um, one of the things I made sure to address, along with the typical compliance pieces of the school year, like supervision, um, I needed to address an important compliance piece, which was classroom walkthroughs and observation. So in those days before the students even arrived, before teaching even began, um, I went through how the process was going to work. I showed them the form. Um, I showed them the types of the exact questions that we would ask of them because they're standardized. So this question is not specific to you. This is going to be the standard questions across the campus, um, and just explain to them, you know, the goal of how often, what we're going to do, um, and so they were um, prepared with what the format was going to look like. Um, when I didn't have examples of what to give them, but I kind of showed them the types of things I would write down. I said, it's just, I go in there and I'm gonna take notes of what I see happening in the classroom, what I hear in the classroom from the students and the teachers. 